let's quickly add stream elements alerts for Twitch to your OBS. You can do this whether you're using SE Live plugin or whether you're just using regular OBS with no plugins. And we're going to begin on StreamElements.com by clicking on Log In and of course connect with Twitch. Once you're logged in, we're on StreamElements.com slash dashboard and we're going to click on Streaming Tools on the left and onto Elements. And I'm going to click on New Element and we're going to start from scratch and if you want to use the stream elements default alerts all you really have to do is either replace or delete this main asset in all the different sections so to do that i'm going to click firstly on the left onto the followed alert underneath main asset i'm going to press delete then you just have to very quickly click through all of the different ones where the main asset appears and just delete it over and over let's fast forward so there we go, I've now deleted the main asset on everything. If you're happy with just the text, then just press save in the top right. Of course, if you wanna make any other customizations, you can click on the different drop downs to customize everything. You can also click add element and add sound. And when you're happy with the design of all of your alerts, let's press save in the top right corner. Next up, we're gonna click on publish. And if you have SE Live installed, you can skip this step. If you're just using regular OBS without SE Live, click on copy URL and let's go back into OBS. So let me show you both SE Live and regular. So for regular OBS, click the plus button, choose browser, name it stream elements alerts or anything similar like that. Press OK, replace this URL. You might want to change the width and the height, shut down source when not visible and press OK. And if we click on the stream elements alerts, this square is where the alerts will appear. And actually just looking on the website, it says width 600, height 700. So if you want to edit your browser source, double click it and just add in the specified dimensions and press OK. If you'd like to center it perfectly, right click, transform, center to screen and then lock it in place when you're happy with it. Now, however, if you're using SE Live, there's a bit of an easier way. Let's click on add element either here or here. We'll click add element and we've made it. This is the one here two minutes ago that we've made. So you just press the plus button on whichever element you want to add and it's automatically added it with the correct size as you can see. I am actually going to shut down source when that visible so I've double clicked it to get it and I'm once again going to right click into the space transform and I'm going to center it to the screen and when I'm happy I'm going to lock it into place. Now you can also test this if you do have the SE Live plugin. You can either press this button down here to simulate or you can click stream elements event simulator and you can simulate something it does actually seem like at the top it's actually bugged so let's try it down here we'll click on to simulate underneath event we'll click on the event we'll click on followed and i'll click simulate and this time it has simulated you can see this is what it would look like watch this video next to learn about the stream elements chatbot